that I, I just found out today that you've got a kind of an interesting connection with one of the candidates, uh, Governor John Kasich of Ohio. Yes, that's true. He wrote a book in 2006, and the yeah. book's right here. It's called Stand for Something. And in the book, he spends almost three pages discussing how much he hates the movie Fargo. <laughs> Did you know this? Yeah, yeah. I try not to think about it, but uh, that's... Well, true. would you mind, this is absolutely true, would you mind reading what Governor Kasich has to say about his experience with Fargo? There you go. Start right there. Okay. There you go. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, <clears throat> he says, uh, I was in my local video store looking for a movie to watch with my wife, Karen, during one of our few quiet evenings together at home. The guy behind the counter at Blockbuster recommended Fargo and assured me it was a great movie and that I should probably rent it. So I did. Walked right over to that shelf where they had their general titles, grabbed a copy, and took it home. That's a really exciting amount of detail <laughs> about that whole process. It's, you know, it makes you feel like you're there, you know, watching someone rent a video. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. really paints a picture. <laughs> okay, so they go home, they watch the movie continue. Okay. When Karen and I got to the part where they chop up a guy in a grinder. Okay, that's me. That's another spoiler alert. I'm uh, <clears throat> we looked at each other and thought, what the heck are we watching here? It, it was graphic and brutal and completely unnecessary, and it robbed us in it rubbed us in so many wrong ways, we had to shut the thing off right there in the middle. Okay. Now he eventually goes in there, he says he eventually led a one-man campaign. To get Blockbuster to drop the movie Fargo, to not carry it. Yeah, he did. And I, I, you know, as upset as I was by that, I do feel bad, like, whenever anybody, you know, like a viewer, doesn't like my work in any way or it upsets them. So I've taken it upon myself to, to rectify it. And I have personally financed a film uh, based on this book. I, I, um, <laughs> uh, and starring me as, as John Kasich. Wow. That sounds fa I can't wait to see it. Well, you don't have to wait because I brought a clip. <laughs> Let's roll that clip, Jim. Excuse me. I'm chairman of the House Budget Committee, John Casey. I demand to speak to the manager. I'll be right with you, sir. I'm just feeding these VHS tapes into our cassette grinder. <laughs> Some of the customers didn't rewind, so I have no choice. How may I help you? Well, I came in here yesterday looking for a movie to watch with my wife, Karen. And, uh, this is it. And you recommended that I rent this garbage. Sir, Fargo is a classic, all right? An Oscar-winning performance by Frances McDormand and... Oh, who is it? It's that sort of weird-looking guy who always plays the loser, <laughs> whose name I forget. William H. Macy. That's the one. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, you assured me it was a great movie and, and I should probably rent it, so I did. I walked right over there to that shelf where you have the general titles and grabbed a copy and brought it over here and showed you my membership card. And then I took the movie home and I put it in my VHS player and it appeared on my television and I watched it. <laughs> Wow, you really know how to paint a picture with words. <laughs> Sir, I know you're upset. I can understand, okay? But I'm gonna ask you to tone it down, or I will kick you out of the store using my brand new bright orange shoe. <laughs> wow! Those are memorable shoes. Oh, yes, they are. You would recognize this shoe and that it was on me, even if you only saw it on my leg sticking out of something. Now, please. <laughs> 
please finish your fascinating story. <laughs> My wife and I looked at each other and thought, what the heck are we watching here? It rubbed us in so many wrong ways. <laughs> I demand that Blockbuster take this title off your shelves or I swear that someday Blockbuster will be put out of business. <laughs> sir, 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 excuse me. Sir, Blockbuster is built on a rock-solid business model of people getting in their cars and driving 30 minutes to find a movie that may or may not be there. And then, driving back two days later to avoid a late fee. We will be here forever. We'll see about that. No! No! No!